Hello everyone, welcome back to Tidy Step YouTube channel. In this video, let me show you how to enter Likert scale data into SPSS. Likert scale data is a type of ordinal data commonly used in surveys and questionnaires to measure attitudes, opinions, perceptions, or preferences. It's named after its creator, psychologist Francis Likert. Likert scale questions present respondents with a statement and ask them to indicate their level of agreement or disagreement with that statement on a predefined scale. And here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you prepare. First, you need to define your variables. After that, decide the coding sim, set up the SPS data file, and also you need to have plan if you find missing values or missing data in your worksheet. After that, prepare the data entry sheet. Next, you need to do the quality control. After that, entering the data into SPSS worksheet. After that, save your data, and your data is ready to use. In this survey, I have 30 data from a survey of satisfaction with public services. I want to measure the level of importance and level of satisfaction from each respondent. One variable is represented by five indicators or questions. To represent the importance level, the possible answers are divided into five levels. One for strongly disagree, two for disagree, three for neutral, 4 for agree and 5 for strongly agree. To represent the satisfaction level, the answer are divided into 5 levels. 1 for strongly agree, 2 for disagree, 3 for neutral, 4 for agree and 5 for strongly agree. And now let's transfer the data from your uh, data collection tool and in this case I use Excel into SPSS properly. And here is the data that I prepared for this exercise. We have 30 data and for the importance level, we have five questions here that represent it by B1, Q1, and so on. And for satisfaction level, we also have five questions that is represented by B2, Q1, which means block two, Q1, and so on. Let's transfer this data into SPSS so you can use it for your further analysis. First, open your SPSS software, and after that, you need to define the variable that you use in the previous applications, uh, in this case Excel, that I use into the variable view in SPSS. So you need to define it properly and SPSS will understand the data that we will transfer. Let me split up the screen for Excel and SPSS so you'll see the process in detail. Okay, wait. Great, now you'll see both Excel and SPSS variable view window. Let's start the variable name one by one. The first one is respondent idea. Just make it idea. After that, B1Q1. Next, B1Q2. Next, B1Q3. B1Q4. And B1Q5. Let's move to the next variable. For the satisfaction level, let's type B2 Q1, which means block 2 question 1, B2 Q2, B2 Q3, B2 Q4, sorry, and after that, B2 Q5. Great, you see we have 11 variable here that we need to transfer from Excel into SPSS. The first variable is the nominal variables and the last 10 variable is the ordinal variable. And we need to change the decimals because we don't have any decimals places here. And let's change it into zero. And to fasten or speed up the process of the changing decimal places, you just need to copy the decimal value in one cell into the whole cells that you need to change. I'll show you because not everyone know this trick. Put your cursor where you want to copy the data, right click and click copy and then select the all cell that you want to paste the value that we want to paste, right click again and then select paste. Great, now you are successfully changing the decimals value for all cells just by using the simple tricks. After that, you see the labels field here, you can change the label based on the questionnaire, but I think just leave it blank because almost every questionnaire have their own index for each uh, questions. For values field, 
This is where we define all possible answers that we have in our questionnaires into a specific meaning so SPSS will understand the interpretation of each code properly. Because ID variables doesn't have any specific values, just leave it by default. And for the B1Q1 variables, we need to define it one by one. Click it and then let's get the value one. Sorry, one for strongly disagree. Click add and two for disagree. And three for neutral. Four for agree. Great. And five for strongly agree. After that, click OK. You have these value labels for one Likert scale variable in your SPSS data view. And to fasten your process, you can copy these all value labels because uh, writing or typing these values label for all variables one by one is tiring. Just right click here and then copy. After that, select the all possible variables that have the same uh, values labels here let me show you and then right click after that click paste great now all liquor scale variables or all ordinal variables that you have are having the same meaning or same values level in spss data view and for the measure let's change it one by one it's nominal ordinal okay you can do this manually sorry okay let's change it all ordinal measurements to ordinal and okay great now you have all variables that you have in your previous questionnaire into variable view window in SPSS properly next we need to copy all the data that we have in our previous application into the data view window in SPSS Let's open the Excel because we use Excel here and then let's select all data that we will transfer into SPSS. Don't forget the nominal variable that we have. After that, press Ctrl C and then move to the data view window in SPSS. Right click and then click paste. Great. Our Likert scale data in our previous application such as excel or another apps that you have is already transfers into spss successfully see here you have 11 variables and also 30 cases in your worksheet great you are successfully transferring your data into spss let's do the descriptive statistics analysis to see how this Likert scale data works in SPSS. Go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then select Descriptives. Here, let's transfer all variables that we have into the variables box, and you can click Options here. What we want to see, okay. We just need to see the mean and the sum option. Great, click Continue, and then click OK. Now you have the descriptive statistics summary for each variable that you have in your Likert scale questionnaires in SPSS and you can do further analysis in SPSS just by following this tutorial properly. That's it. See you in another video.